Hello and welcome to the FileMaker 13 learning series. Myself Ramandeep Singh working as FileMaker developer at Mindfire Solutions. Um, today we are going to learn about the new feature in the FileMaker 13 that is the styles and theme feature and the hide object functionality. If you have any questions related to this video please feel free to ask me here is my contact details you can connect me by the following links so today we are going to learn what's new related to the styles and themes in filemaker 13 and then we are going to explore the styles by applying it over the objects and see how themes works and uh, we'll create a custom theme of our own and then import them to other layouts that's how we manage the themes and we'll also see the new hide functionality that is being that has been provided by the filemaker recently so let's begin okay so what's new here is um, the styles what is styles let's see by going into the layout mode as we can see in the new file mega 13 has the new extra tab here in the inspector you can go to the inspector by clicking here the eye icon for the inspector or else you can also go from the view and choose the inspector okay so these this new tab style defines how this style looks like as you can see I have selected this object and there are following two styles available for it if I click on these the style changes ok we are going to explore this later on but other features that we have here for the new filemaker 13 is we can undo after a save suppose if I have uh, made any changes to this object suppose if I am changing the color of this object and I have saved it now what if we were in filemaker 12 we would have been avail able to uh, revert this change but here in filemaker 13 we can use the undo formatting option if you can see here the undo formatting options even after say saving the layout so we are back to the styles that we already had this is new feature in filemaker 13 and another one is more inspector designing attributes that is we have more attributes related to styles as you can see the advanced graphic option this tab was this option the whole area was not available in filemaker 12 we can apply shadows here as you can see this looks pretty neat and also the padding and other features that we are going to explore later on and the third one and fourth one is uh, we can copy a part of the styles yes this is something very helpful in our daily development we look into it part of what it means here is we can copy a part of the object here suppose on hovering on uh, hovering it the color changes to white on this object let me apply a button skip step or something so that we can hover over it okay now as you can see once we hover over it the background changes to white now if I need the same hover effect over over the 
other styles also but I don't want this uh, the pressed effect because the pressed effect is uh, similar to this normal effect I just want this hover effect for other styles or other objects I, j I can just copy this style state style select other object and go to the hover here and paste it here see the other styles have not been applied just the hover style has been applied to this object now if you go over here let me assign and click to it ok now if you see on hovering it it has the same effect as that of the subject the last one the refresh object script step um, we used to have the refresh window script step in file mega 12 also that we have in 13 also but the new refresh object script step is different from the uh, the other refresh window script step the refresh window script step used to refresh the whole layout if we have like uh, lots of objects on a layout all the objects will be refreshed at once using that script step but if we just want to refresh a particular object this script step is uh, very helpful ok let me show you how this works suppose um, I have named this object as the test object and uh, applied a conditional formatting that if we use a global variable if the global variable test has a value of 1 then we are going to change its color to suppose red now I have written a script also for the same that uh, we are setting a variable here the value of the variable the same variable that is used in the conditional formatting and I am setting this value to 1 so that we can see the f change in here on the object so I am going to run this script ok um, it's already have this applied ok let me clear the value of this global variable and now we don't have any value in the global variable and the object appears as normal now I'm running this script see there is no change in this on this object that is because we are using a global variable to in the condition of formatting and global variables and with global variables we cannot just refresh an object unless we use a global unless we use a field in that condition of formatting so um, what I'm going to do is here I'm using the refresh object script step here so that I can show the change that I made using the uh, changing the value of the global variable I'm saving this script and uh, let me revert the value of the global variable here ok now we don't have any value in the global variable and the object appears as normal now once I run this script it should turn to red because I am using the new script step that is the refresh object script see I was changing the color um, because we have used the refresh object script step that is refreshing the object once the global variable has been set so this is pretty helpful in conditional formatting and also other situations like uh, if you want to just refresh a part of the layout not the whole layout so it's pretty uh, helpful